Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ty. This is a DIY of how to dye your wig using the watercolor method. These are the products that I'm going to use. The Adore Semi Permanent in 120 Black Velvet. And Adore Semi Permanent in 121 Jet Black. I will also be using Got To Be Glued Freeze Spray. I will be dyeing two units and they're both from Luffy Wigs. Other supplies that I'll be using is this basin and a bowl. And then I'm also going to be using clear trash bags so that I can cover up my counter. Wig number one is a beautiful Brazilian 22 inch wig. I'm going to unpack this but I'm not going to give you too much information on it because I'll be doing a video on these wigs at a later time but this is what you'll get inside your package if you're interested in it and all the specs will be in the description box. Their wigs are gorgeous and what I love is that the knots are already bleached. So this is what the unit looks like. The hair almost looks like a number two to me. I definitely want to get that nice and black. So that's the purpose of this. Before we do that, I'm going to use the Got To Be Free Spray so that I can cover up those knots. So they bleached them so well, I want to make sure those are maintained. So I'm going to coat this three times. And introducing wig number two. This is a beautiful Brazilian kinky straight unit. You'll see how coarse it is. We'll just get that unwrapped so you'll take a look at it as well. And these are the things that you're going to get inside of the box. Again, everything's going to be in the description box in case this is a unit that you want to get as well. I'm going to get up close on this unit so you can see the texture of it as well as the color. Again, this looks more like a number two to me, but I'm going to dip this one as well today so that I can get it nice and black. There is lace in the back also, so I'm going to make sure that I cover that with the spray as well. And here is a shot of the unit from Root to Tip. Here are those wonderful bleach knots that I want to try to preserve. And I'm going to spray these as well three times and give it a nice thick coat. Be sure to let it dry completely in between coats. And after your third coat, this is the crusty look that you'll get on the top of your lace, but this is what's going to protect your lace from the dye. And now time to fill my basin with super hot water. Take your semi-permanents and just squeeze them right into the water. And this is what it'll look like. I'm now taking my comb to make sure that all the dye is dissolved into the hot water. I'm just making sure the sink's all covered up and we're going to start with wig number one. I'm going to start out with dipping the ends of the wig first and continually dip all the way until I get to the cap. The reason hot water is used is because it opens up the cuticle in the hair to deposit the dye. The more you dip, the tone and the color is even, and then also it's depositing the dye even more and making the color more intense. I like to dip all of the hair first and leave the cap for the very last of it. And also while you're dipping, make sure you're being cautious because the water is hot. 
And while you're dipping the hair in, you can also take a brush or a wide tooth comb to comb through the hair to make sure that each hair strand is in the water and the dye is hitting it. I want to give you a view of what the hair looks like while it's sitting in the dye. This is the point in which most people get worried because now your lace is in the dye. As you can see with me holding the lace up, the lace is fine. And as you can see, the wig is getting that nice, beautiful, dark color. And at this point, after the lace has already been dunked into the water, it is debatable about what time limit you want to leave your wig in for. You can leave it in from anywhere from 5 minutes to 30 minutes. That's what I've heard a lot of people doing. I personally don't like to leave mine in for 30 minutes, but you can leave it in for the length of time that you want. And here you can see me combing the hair and still dunking it back into the water. And I'm done coloring wig number one, and I'm just gonna get the rest of the water off of it and put it into the sink. Now it's time for wig number two. I'm gonna be using the exact same method for wig number two that I did wig number one. I'm gonna go on and dump that down into the basin so that the color can get onto the wig. And I'm just gonna start at the tips and I'm gonna go all the way up the wig just as you saw me do wig number one. I also did two wigs to let you know you don't have to do one wig at a time. And after your wig soaks for five to 30 minutes, it's ready and it's time to be rinsed out. Obviously, the longer it sits, the more intense the color. For the two units that you saw me do in this video, I only soaked them for five minutes. So if you're short on time and still need your wig colored, it can be done in five minutes. So I'm going to wring out the wigs and get them ready to be washed. This is also debatable, some people don't like to shampoo them, but you do you. I mainly like to give them a shampoo because I want to get anything off the lace if it ever got on it, but it didn't in this case. And now I'm going to condition it with a nice moisturizing conditioner. I love this conditioner for my units. Please make sure after the dyeing process that you're getting all dyes out of the unit because remember this is going to be going on your head and touching your own hair. So you want to make sure that it's nice and squeaky clean. Also make sure that you're going to use a conditioner that keeps your hair soft and manageable because you have put, even though it's semi-permanent dye, you have processed it, you want your hair to stay nice and manageable. So I'm just going to wring this out and voila! So this is the new color for wig number one, nice and black. And this is after it's dried for 48 hours. And here's wig number two. You see that it's a nice dark color. I love it. I love the way they turned out. I always leave my wigs to air dry. I never blow dry them or anything. And this is what they look like from a distance. This has saved me so much time. Normally I'm sitting for hours 
dyeing my wigs because I like them long and I like them black and it takes a long time and yeah 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 but this is revolutionary I love this watercolor dye I hope that you decide to try it because it's gonna save you so so much time this is definitely gonna be my preferred method going forward when I'm dyeing my one color units I hope you enjoyed this if you have please give it a thumbs up for this video and then also turn on those notifications and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.